Hey, what's up devs? Welcome to my channel and to a new algorithm challenge on hacker rank. So um, today uh, we are at a rank of 159,000 and my goal is it to get to, I don't even know what my goal is. Is it top 100? I think well, even top 1000 would be pretty, pretty cool out of 3.5 million or 4 million. And uh, so yeah, that's what we're working on every single day. And uh, today's algorithm success rate has 90 or 91%, meaning nine people were not able to solve it out of 100. So we want to find out whether or not you are <laughs> I'm amongst these nine people. Chocolate feast. That fits perfectly because I just had chocolate. Little Bobby loves chocolate. Little Martin lo loves chocolate. He fre frequently goes to his favorite five and 10 store, Penny Auntie, to buy them. They are having a promotion at Penny Auntie. If Martin saves enough wrappers, he can turn them in for a free chocolate. For example, Martin has 15 to spend on bars of chocolate that costs three each. He can turn in two wrappers to receive another bar. Uh, initially, he buys five bars and has five wrappers. After eating them, he turns in four of them, leaving him with one for two more bars. After eating those two, he has three wrappers, turns in two, leaving him with one wrapper and his new bar. Once he eats that one, he has two wrappers and turns them in for another bar. After eating that one, he only has one wrapper and his feast ends. Overall, he has eaten one, two, three, four, uh, nine bars. Yeah, nine bars. Uh, complete the chocolate, chocolate feast function in the editor below. It must return the number of chocolates Bobby can eat after taking full advantage of the promotion. All right, I think that's uh, pretty straightforward. If we look at NCM, we have N, amount of money, C, cost of chocolate bar. So we will do like uh, amount of money divided by chocolate bar to get the amount of chocolate bars, uh, cost of the chocolate bar. And then we have M for the wrappers needed in order to turn it in for another chocolate bar. So what we want to know initially is the initial amount of chocolate bars we can buy. So that means we have um, chocolate bars, uh, the money divided by C, right? If we have 10 um, euro dollars, and the chocolate bar costs two, and then 10 divided by two is five, which means we can afford five chocolate bars. All right, now we have a result, uh, or like eaten chocolate bar of zero so far. And what we want to do is probably while, uh, while chocolate bar is, because a chocolate bar represents as well wrappers. So as long as chocolate bar is bigger than one, we can um, basically eat chocolate and turn in the wrappers. And then again, we will have a chocolate bar. So maybe we want to even use wrappers instead. So here we have eaten chocolate is equal to chocolate bar, correct? So eaten chocolate so far is chocolate bar and then also wrapper is the same amount in the beginning. So as long as wrapper is bigger than one, we want to do something. And in the end, we want to return the amount of eaten chocolates. So what we know is that new bars is equal to the amount of wrappers divided by M, since M is the amount of wrappers we need. For example, if we have four wrappers, two are needed for a new chocolate bar, so four divided by two is equal to two, and we know we have two no new bars to eat. So then we can say, okay, um, our eaten chocolate bar is equal eaten chocolate bar plus new bars. So that's our account there. And we also know that we want the leftover from, from wrapper divided by M. For example, what if, what if we have five wrappers, correct? And it's two uh, for like two needed in order to like turn in uh, for a new chocolate bar. That means um, we have two left one, so we can eat two bars, but we still want to take into consideration this one leftover wrapper when we count the new bars, their wrappers, into our new wrapper count, right? So our new wrapper count is equal to basically modulo here plus, whoops, 
So the leftover of that, if there is any, could be zero, uh, plus the new bar. That's our new W, our new wrapper. I think at this point we can just run the code and see what happens. And it did not, did not execute within the time limits. Wow. So n could be up to a million and n is the amount of, wait, not bigger than one, bigger than m. Because uh, m could be one, for example. So let's run this code again. Oh, damn, both test cases don't work anymore. Oh, bigger equal m. Of course, bigger equal m. So that's, that's the, okay, that's it. And now both test cases are uh, succeeding. Now to, are we, are we, are we part of the nine people? <laughs> are we part of the 91 people? I feel like, I don't know if, if people, if you are feeling like, oh, I'm just watching this right now, um, eating my cornflakes, there we go. Or whether you try to code it alongside me or whether you're just curious whether you can crack it in, in your head. All right, that, that worked out. Uh, we're done with this one. Um, and we are now at rank 154,000, just, just about. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this kind of format, if you like me solving algorithms, hit like, let me know, it helps out. And if you don't want to miss out on uh, the next algorithm, hit subscribe and I see you in the next one. Bye.